Hey everyone, okay, so welcome back to the Masterclass series. The second step in makeup application for me, and we're doing this how I would approach a face, is brows. Before we've done anything else, we fill in the brows. Now for this, I'm gonna go slightly darker than my normal brow color, which for me would actually be a relatively kind of blonde color. So I'm gonna use a torpy color for this. And we're gonna start with pencil, probably finish with a bit of brow gel. You'll see as we go along. Now when it comes to applying pencil, you wanna remember that pencil actually goes on the skin. It doesn't actually go in the hair. That's where powder tends to go and gel products that we use in the brow. And I like to go against the grain for a lot of the work. Now a lot of people can be concerned about going against the grain, making eyebrow hair fall out. I personally have never noticed that issue at all. But if you're concerned, then go with the grain. So go this way and not backwards. But try and remember you're trying to get color on the skin because that's where it needs to go with pencil and you can deal with any of that extra sparseness later on. So the first thing we wanna do is get your brow product. And I like to just kind of start any, really anywhere, but I'm kind of moving against the grain of the hair to begin with. So I'm going in a kind of opposite direction. And I'm just carving out a kind of guideline of where I want things to be. And one thing to kind of point out, you wanna err on the side of caution when it comes to the darkness of your brow. If you go too dark, it can look too stark against the skin. So if in doubt, go lighter. Now with my brow, I've kind of carved out this bottom bit, but I do need to extend the brow marginally, but only a little bit. So I've carved out this bottom bit here. And now I'm just gonna to start to very lightly fill in from below to above. And don't worry about any hardness, that can be blended out. So I'm just kind of going from below, above. And when you get to this inner corner, again, err on the side of caution, because if you darken this inner corner too much, it can look very, very hard against the skin. And that may not be a look that you're going for. And when it comes to the top, I then start to go in the direction of the hair growth and just moving it down just to a, a soft point and then checking to see any areas that need filling in and then going over with the spoolie to comb it through and soften. And then just looking for pinpoint areas where there may be a touch more product needed to just complete the look. Now, I prefer a fuller brow. I think it just looks nicer in general, but you can fill them in however you want. And because we're, as we go down here, we're basically just drawing on skin. So there does come a point where you may need to just touch up slightly after the foundation. Also, when you're extending the brow, unless you really need to, don't overextend it. Because when you overextend a brow, there's more space to fill in with eyeshadow. And I don't think a lot of people kind of realize that. So you wanna be careful there because the more space you've got here, the more space you've got to fill. So I'm just gonna lightly just go over this section, I'm just gonna fill it in, brush it through, and then I'm gonna go on with a brow gel. Now, one thing to think about here, now I haven't, I don't have an arched brow, so I've not tried to create one. But one thing to bear in mind is, the bigger the space here, the wider the nose looks, particularly in photographs. So if your eyebrows start more here, Drawing them in and bringing them in closer can make the nose look smaller. And I've done a video on that as well. But just bringing them in slightly can make a big difference. Now I'm gonna go over the brows with a brow gel. And I'm just gonna start in the middle and just work my way through. I like these because they add a little bit more thickness to the hair. They also set it, they add a little color 
but they just give a more fuller, thicker look, which I prefer. And you just want to make sure that you're kind of just brushing up and getting the hair. Now, I prefer brows to lay quite flat. Not a fan of them sticking up, but that's your look. You can go for it. And being soft on this inner portion, I've got a nice spot here, but we'll deal with that with foundation. And I've actually picked a color that is fractionally lighter than the brow pencil I've used. And you can just see, it just grooms the brow and you just get a better sense of the, the, the eye shape when you do this. I'm just gonna just retouch up just slightly that brow end. Now you can also use another product here if you wanted, just to add, add that kind of extra setting portion to the brow. But personally, I don't always think it's necessary. I don't want brows to look too slick or sleek or have too much shine to them. So I'm just gonna leave it here. And in the next video, we're gonna talk about the complete eye prep before we do eyeshadow. So see you next time.